Hello everyone, and welcome back once again to Inverbus Virtus with Frozen Foxy. Last time we left off, uh, we were here, and I was waiting for the loading to be done, but uh, what ended up happening was I actually went to the store in between then and now, so I may need to look up spells again, because I have probably forgotten some. And we have some of the creepy weeping angels. Once again, that's fantastic. Hmm. Okay. Not quite sure what that's about. But hopefully these things don't uh, come and send me back many years and steal my time force. Will this push me along here? No, it does not. Anyway, uh, since I had time away from this game in between the last time you guys saw it, I apparently don't have a reflection. Um, I decided I was going to look up my old Latin stuff and see if I was even remembering it partially right. And I was, but I was remembering the wrong format of uh, Virtus. So it's actually meant to be more like in the words of power or in terms of power. Um, the Virtus that I'm thinking of is actually a different format of Virtus. So. It definitely does sound just fine, the way that they have set it up. Watch it. These things are really pretty. They don't seem to be attacking me like the, uh, the things that are on the ground normally. I also uh, went ahead and turned up the brightness a bit in this game, and now it looks a little bit too bright in some areas, but... Um, I noticed that the game is extremely dark, so I thought it would be nice to uh, to have a little bit of that brightness going. Can I can I get behind here to uh, to see what's behind this plaque? I don't know if this is even a spell plaque. Uh, I can't, so maybe this isn't a spell plaque. Guess we'll find out. No, it's a spell plaque after all. Uh, the flesh is a scheme already predetermined. To know its meanders allows you to give orders to it. These orders can be to die, but also to live. Your shell is fragile. Your mind is strong. Balance is the key to this universe. And the living beings are the ones that move the scale. They also have no balance, not any longer. Being in equilibrium attracts them. You become like a ripple in a quiet puddle, like a spray of blood in a field of white flowers. If it is the salvation of the body you are looking for, you may not find it taking care of your flesh. The dangers of this place are often very concrete, and often I was wounded. Fortunately, now magic can help me, using the formula... Yega Mide. Yega Mide. Uh, when I'm in a stretch of water, my body regenerates from its wounds. Yega Mide. Cool. So now I've basically got uh, a healing spell, but only works in water apparently. I like the water effects in this game, they're pretty good. Apparently my journal's been updated, I must bring her back to me. The magic that I'm learning in my journey has many uses. Now I am also capable of treating my wounds. Perhaps with such power I could have saved Leaf, but it's too late. I must keep going on. Maybe I'll find a way to defeat death and bring her back to me. Alright, so we've got a mission now. We need to save Leaf somehow. So, what is this stuff on the floor? Room Presence. So it just kind of opens when I'm standing here. Uh... Looks like I am unable to go through here. Does, is this a rune that I can look at too? It certainly looks like it's some kind of rune, but I can't really look to see what it is. These masks are creepy as hell. 
and we've got the angels up there too. It's just like freaking everything all in one room. Well, at least none of the masks are asking if we're their mummy. Not yet, anyway. Could be worse. Could be worse. Okay, let's go check out the map. I mean, we've got one more area that we haven't gone to, as far as I know, besides this one. Which is that. But I'd like to see what the map has going for us. So, we're here. Um... Let's see. I'm looking at a wall, so looking over this way is where we were. Going around the corner, so that eye probably indicates where we were a second ago learning the spell. However, it looks like um, the other path might not be on here. I'm unsure of that one. It looks like this way is supposed to be a dead end of sorts. It also looks like there's supposed to be something behind me, but that's where it caved in, so we have no way of going there. Alright, well, this map isn't particularly helpful since I can't really see what's going on over here. That's okay. We'll live with it. Lume Tiao. Stuff back here, but I can't quite squeeze in there. Whoa. That seems a little dangerous. Okay. So just a constant fire bolt coming out here. Good to know. Looks like possibly we are meant to pull this down or something to block fireballs. Is that how this works? Tial Uda. Yes, that's definitely how that works. So I'm guessing, based on the bit of light up there, that there's a little corridor and we're meant to dodge in between the raindrops here. Tialuda. Oof, that was close. I did not think that that was actually going to work. Tialuda. 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 Ah, shit. You know what? It's fine. We're over here now. <laughs> And that didn't quite work out the way I was hoping it would. My spell wasn't quite uh, heard there. Oh, you look creepy. What is this? Life in the Temple. The Temple of Worship of the Order were not always desolate places. Or desolated places. A long time ago, not only were they visited by many worshippers, but they were also inhabited by creatures that were intended to serve them and the same temples. These beings came from different worlds and were not always completely natural. Some were created specifically to carry out certain tasks. After thousands of years of decline, few of these creatures have survived and their souls have been corrupted by the torture of of the living or of living in these places now cursed they no longer have to serve any purpose and are guided only by instinct anger and suffering among the inhabitants of the temple perhaps the most numerous are the Sevar, uh, once industrious and agile workers, partly living beings and partly mechanical ones. They could perform very complex tasks thanks to their three tentacles. Oh great, tentacle monsters. Just what we need. Possibly illithids. <laughs> Nowadays, they are just beasts that pain made crazy. Easily recognizable by the giant and vertical fanged mouths. Oh, fantastic. That hide their suffering faces. 
the last glimmer of reason and civilization that they can show is the fact that sometimes they move in groups, which makes them even more dangerous. Yeah, just what I need. Just what I freaking need. Can I... There's not another door that I can pull down. It doesn't look like there's another light. So... Pretty sure I would end up dead if I tried to go down this hallway. Hmm. Guess that means I need to go down here for the moment. Anything back here? No? Very pretty looking place. Shit. Uh, uh, okay, he doesn't seem to see me. I wish I had a stealth spell. What do I have? I've got healing, I've got telekinesis, maybe. Obi Kenu. Obi Kenu. That might be helpful. Maybe I could beam of light him because other creatures have uh, taken damage from it. You can see if this uh, stuns him. Let's go for it. Lume Tiao. That didn't stun him. That didn't do anything. Ecto Lume. A lot of nothing. Apparently his tentacles are keeping him from coming under here. Obi Kenu. Hey! Okay, so we can make him hover. Namet Ecto. Am I saying that right? I think that's what it is. Yeah. Okay, so maybe I can't do it on him, but I can lift him up. Can I move him around? I can throw him. Maybe I just need to throw him and run. Obi Kenu. Damn it. Obi Kenu. He certainly does have a big mouth. Anyway, um, I can kind of look around. There is a rune of command in there. Can I walk forward without this? Okay. I can kind of move a little bit to take a look around. Ow, that is really hurting. Let's, uh, let's throw you for a second. What's going on around here? It's a cage door or something. Where's she going? Having a little bit of a hard time getting over it. Obi Kenu. Obi Kenu. Shit. I'm gonna get killed by this guy. Obi Kenu. Seriously? Obi Kenu. You are a bitch. Okay, if I get away from him, then I don't have to hear that awful noise. There's another one of those. What's going on around here? Nice stained glass window. Huh. Interesting. I think right now I really need to Tialuda that and find out what that does. Because otherwise I'm just kind of stuck in here. Tialuda. Obi Kenu. Wondering if I need to trap him inside of there. Seems like that would be a good thing. Huh. It's one of those presence things. Come on, buddy. Obi Kinu. Tialuda. Obi Kenu. I'll just keep you. Did did I get the Tialu dog going? Okay, it just takes a little while, but I got it. So now he's trapped. Got another Tialu dog over here. I can look around the room at the very least. Nyeh. Now there was rooms down on the bottom of this. I don't know. Oh, he's the one making that noise. That wasn't my spell at all. 
Oh, hey. You know what? That opened something. I'm pretty sure that him standing on that is causing this to open. So, I think I accidentally figured out the puzzle by trying to trap him in there and save myself. I am, like, literally... Whoa. Close to dying. That, um... That closed the door on me. Well, I hope I'm going the right way. Can't go back now. Is this anything? No. Looks like we've got a block and a creepy-ass statue that we can move. What's this? The Heralds of... I believe that's, uh... Justitia? Justice? I think that's justice. Uh, only those who had no lust for power and carried justitia in their hearts could be taught the power of the mark of fire. These became the heralds of justitia and were in charge of enforcing the order using or by using their power only where the essence of uh, Equalitas, I believe that's equality, uh, was betrayed. So you use justice when equality has been betrayed. Alright. What else do we have going on around here? Got a statue of creepiness up there? I'm guessing right now I might need to climb. Obi Kanu. Am I even saying that right? I don't think I am. Probably not. It works, but. Obi Kenu. Obi Kenu. I'm saying like Obi Kenu, whatever. Obi Kenu. Alright. Let's find out what we have going on up here. Or not? Okay. It's like, wasn't I able to jump on that before? Aha. Uh Tialuda. -huh. I get it. So, probably this whole thing was for me to be able to get these two blocks. Because I can probably use that block to uh, protect myself from the fire. I have a feeling... I want to test it, I really do, maybe when I have more health, but I have a feeling that um, the other rune that's on the other side would open this gate as well, but with how low my health is, I don't want to risk it right now. Obi Kenu. Oops. Also, I think I remember saying that those blocks remind me of amnesia earlier, and what I was actually trying to refer to with them is, um, it reminds me of Penumbra, specifically Penumbra Requiem, when you're moving around a lot of the blocks. 